Hi, my name is Richard Street Leonard Jun. I'm an artist based in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Uh, and I'm very pleased to um, have the chance to share my work with you at Lalanta Fine Arts in Bangkok. Um, and what I will be sharing uh, for this exhibition is an ongoing series of portraits in watercolor on, painted on metal plates with an absorbent ground, uh, similar to what you would see here. Um, this is a, a recent piece. And um, I've provided um, some uh, video shorts or video clips for showing the process of how the works um, start as ideas and then slowly built up over different layers until they finally come to the uh, final works which are on display. Uh, prophilia isn't a real word and, um, and ilia or the love of, similar to what you would have in the word Philadelphia, which is the city of brother brotherly love. Um, I've always been interested in um, how people choose to show themselves and in the past 20 or so years as we've moved to uh, more online communications and social media uh, the ways that we choose to show ourselves um, is very interesting. Uh, one aspect of that is the typical profile picture and I was been looking at how people have um, chosen their profile pictures over the past several years and I've been intrigued with um, that whole phenomena of, of how you identify with who you are and how you choose to show yourself to the outside world. Um, also profile images, digital images tend to be very quick, they're very instant, hence the word Instagram. Um, well, painting is, tends to be, at least for me, a very slow process. So it's getting at the two extremes of having the instant image of the profile image that can be changed, on, uh, changed at will, and then the longer image, the one that what you have to study and to understand the tones, the colors, um, some of the details, and that comes out through just the painting process, as, as you, again, see here. Um, you can see as I zoom in, there's a lot of details and, you, and the color is built up um, in layers over time and it takes constant looking and re-looking at the uh, source image in order to uh, arrive at my final piece where sometimes uh, looking at somebody's profile image, whether it's on Instagram or if it's on Tinder, it's, it's, it's instant take a quick look and it's a swipe onto the next. So you're, you have these two extremes of concentration and, um, and being very quick. Um, so that's, that's some of the things that interest me about the idea of, of profiles and, uh, and my own attachment to, to how people show themselves. And, on display now is the sixth series of the um, Prophelia series, which began, I believe, in 2018 is when I began the first series. And this sixth series is picking up after almost a two-year uh, break because of COVID. And uh, coming back to this series, uh, I've changed a lot of my techniques in sensibilities in approaching this series. For one example is I find I'm using much less neutral gray, um, which is a pigment that I often use in the earlier ones to mix in with pigment to tone it down, the saturation, also to create shadows. I noticed uh, I wasn't going to that pigment much in this series, instead creating uh, shadows by mixing colors themselves. Um, Another thing that I noticed for this series is that um, I'm much more intuitive. I'm laying down less line work and my familiarity with the materials is much more stronger so I know what to expect later down the road. I don't have a lot of surprises which frees me up in many ways for being more creative because I'm not afraid of making any accidents along the way. And I'm also more comfortable just to see how the paintings evolve um, over time. Um, so 
thank you uh, for taking the time to spend with my work, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you, from Vietnam. This is my main painting setup, which includes my studio palette, which includes around 34 pigments. Uh, the brands I usually use are Daniel Smith and a Korean brand called uh, Mijello uh, Mission paints. They're very good, uh, they have nice granularity. Uh, I have my water bucket and my brushes which are just used for watercolor and gouache, usually separated into some mops, some detail brushes, and my main brushes that I use are either rounds such as this one or smaller ones such as this one here. And uh, from here I will take some water and I will put them into the raw and burnt umber and let those wet out and th these two pigments will be the basis for the underpainting the first layer of the paintings on metal. So I think I've just traced over my drawing with the carbon paper underneath to transfer the drawing onto the plate and so now we can lift this off and I have basic marks on my plate. Uh, it's not as detailed as my drawing, but it doesn't need to be. It's just serving as general areas for which I will be placing the paint. And in the, in the normal one, you can see here, there's certain areas that I have marked as W or B, showing the highlights and the dark areas. And the second layer, after the first light umber has dried, a slightly darker raw umber here. I'm just trying to pick out some of the slightly darker areas, sometimes in shadow, such as here. I think I'll just automatically come in with heavily pigmented paint. And I'll start getting this in right now, laying it on top of the paint I had before. I'm just referencing my image here. Some of this in. Bring the shadow on the side of the face down as it curves into some of the light there. Looking at this, some highlights in there that I want to preserve. And, um, so here now we can see that from the other image, we largely still have a monochrome image um, in umber. There hasn't been any bright or colored pigments yet, but you can see the image is starting to emerge just from uh, a few different tones. The second layer has just about dried. Uh, it's still very much monochromatic using the uh, umbers that I've used to lay down the tonal values of the painting. I'd like to start adding some color to this, and to this I'm going to look back at the original uh, photo reference which is here and I've noticed that you see a lot of orange and warmer tones in his skin that I want to start picking up. So I started on my palette looking to grab some of the more yellows maybe some of the yellow ochre and some of this it looks like a cadmium orange. I'm gonna water this down a bit just to dilute it so it doesn't come off too strong. But I'm gonna add it now to the areas that I think need it, particularly where the light is hitting off some of the shoulder here. I'll start adding that in here. I see a little on the forehead. I'm gonna add some here. I'm gonna see as I start moving along in these areas where I want to add some of this warmth to his skin around the nose there and on this whole side of the nose we seem to have some warmth coming out in, in here as well and so I'm going to just go over and just check the spots where I think we're going to need some warmth and this is mostly where the 
light is bouncing off. I'm going to blend this in so it's not so harsh. And grab some pure water and sort of spread this through so it's not giving me a very really hard line. And already we see that where this, the form of the body is starting to have some dimensionality by adding some of the warmer tones. So I'm just looking at areas that I want to add some, some details and highlights. This is usually the last step. I apply detail with small brushes with black and I just use um, some titanium white or some, some zinc white just to get in the highlights. And the last areas I want to touch up um, before drying. After this dries, I'll take one last look, but I think this is just about done. I've added the signature already since I'm, I'm quite confident that this is just well on its way. And um, this is the finished piece. My reference is here. And you can see I, I've sort of made it my own. I've, I've changed a few things, um, but um, this is the process. And for this series, I'm using much less neutral gray and trying to get the shadows by mixing color. So um, this is the whole setup and this is, this is how we work.